Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. I was reminded of that song this morning. When I was coming out here, I brought a towel to put on the table because everything is frozen this morning outside. And it says, a friend of mine had engraved it and said, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And my daddy used to sing that a lot when we would be on trips and in Israel, in Jerusalem, and we just enjoyed it. But I am so thankful this morning because the Lord Jesus Christ, he himself promised us that he will not leave us comfortless in all our situations. In John chapter 14, verse 16, Jesus told his disciples and he's telling us today, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. And that's the Holy Spirit because Jesus said in verse 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, bring all things to remembrance. So this morning, when we're remembering the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are remembering because the Holy Spirit in us is reminding us of the Lord's words. And every time we read the word of God, the Holy Spirit is teaching us what we need to see. And I am so blessed. Years ago, one day I was talking to my dad on the phone and I said, Daddy, I'm forgetting things. I'm writing them down, but then I'm forgetting things. There was so much going on. And he said, ask more of the work of the Holy Spirit in you. Ask more of the Holy Spirit because he will remind us. And he is the one that reminds us this morning what Jesus said. And this morning, as I was in Numbers chapter uh, 9, verse 23, at the commandment of the Lord, they rested. This is the children of Israel. At the commandment of the Lord, they rested in the tents and at the commandment of the lord they journeyed they kept the charge of the lord at the commandment of the lord everything they did was with the word of god and it says these stories of the children of israel is written for us today to know how we should walk and somewhere i heard this sentence and it said it should be nothing more nothing less and nothing else of what the Lord tells us to do. And so when I read that, I said, Lord, what are your commandments or what have you told us? And I went to his words because in Matthew, when he started teaching, the first thing he kept telling them and the people, which is for us today, is not to worry. He said, take no thought, take no thought. Verse 25 of chapter 6 of Matthew and he starts this way therefore I say unto you take no thought of your life what you shall eat what you shall drink what you shall put on your body for you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body more, more than raiment behold the fowls of the air I wish I could you could hear the birds singing there are so many times reminding us that your heavenly father takes care of them and it says, how much more you? Are you not much better than they? Jesus here says, are you not much better than the birds of the air that the heavenly father takes care of? Today, he's taking care of you. And then somewhere in chapter um, of uh, Luke, he's saying again, how much more you? You are more important. He knows every hair on your head. And I love this story, and I want to read this story once again this morning, and it is Luke chapter 10, verse 38. 
Now it came to pass as they went that he, Jesus, entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And I was just wondering what it would feel like if the Lord just knocked on our door and came in to for us to receive him, to be hospitable, to take care of him. And Martha did that. And he, she had a sister called Mary, which sat at Jesus' feet and heard the word. This is all Mary was doing was Martha while Martha was preparing, being busy. And then Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him, Jesus, and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? And Jesus told her, Martha, Martha, you are careful and troubled about many things. We are in these days, we are careful and troubled about many things. But Jesus said, but one thing is needful. And that is what Mary has chosen, that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Let us choose the good part to sit at his word morning after morning, night after night, whenever you get an opportunity, listen to the words of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you what you're supposed to do. Do all that the Lord tells you to do. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. And let the Lord guide you today. Be blessed today.